Hi everyone, years ago as a student I applied for a job as a call center agent just to make a little bit extra pocket money. It didn't last very long, or rather I didn't last very long. You see, a typical call center environment, as Anna Maria has already mentioned in the previous vlog, is typically noisy and busy, not suited for someone who's got low sentry thresholds like me. So sometimes it happens that that is your job and you just simply need to cope with it. And I thought this morning, what would be the ways that if I had to stick it out in that call center job, what I would do? Now, typically, if you think of your seating, one of the first tips would be, if possible, don't sit in the middle of the call center. Try and sit with your back against the wall. You see, for someone who's uh, sentry avoidant, any movement behind you that, that's unpredictable gives you a bit, potentially gives you a bit of a fright and is very distracting. It's better for someone with low sentry thresholds to have more control over our environment, to have less input and to, to know what's coming. So ideally, you would be seated with your back against the wall. Ideally, you would definitely make sure that your desk space around you and even your space on your screen is decluttered daily. Because again, more sensory input, whether it's visual, auditory or any of your senses, will distract you definitely and will also um, overload you much quicker. So if you have a call center job, ideally a back office job will be, will be the ideal if you're a sensory avoider, if you have low sensory thresholds, or otherwise declutter back against the wall, use noise cancelling headphones to drown out the noise from the rest of the call center. And if possible at all, ask your manager if you can maybe work remotely, work from home, because then you can set up your own space according to your needs with less input, less noise, less distractions and have increased productivity. Good luck to all your call center agents and take care. Bye bye.